Uh, hey guys, I'm back with actually a part 5 to our sorting algorithm series. I was going to end with quicksort, but uh, there's a sorting algorithm that uh, kind of deserves to be up there. One, because it turns the normally horrendous bubble sort into an actual competitor for one of the top sorting algorithms. It's a really great sorting algorithm. It sometimes runs as fast as merge sort, and even shell sort I've seen it run as fast as. I've never seen it quite get uh, as good as quicksort. Uh, I'm sure in rare occasions there are. It's better than quicksort um, because it's pretty reliable. It's really oddly similar of shell sort. Um, shell sort just takes an insertion sort and uses intervals to get over the problem of if there's somebody small at the end of the list doing all the comparisons back. Does the same, comb sort's the same idea with bubble sort, making an interval. It's really simple, so I'm not going to have a separate review video or a code along for this one because it's just really simple. Um, because uh, bubble sort's really simple. I haven't gone over bubble sort. Uh, I'm, it's the first you guys usually learn. Um, and there's plenty of videos out there on bubble sort, um, and especially, and, and it's just a really easy algorithm to implement. Um, I have a bu I have bubble sort over here though, if, if a video is requested. But so we only need one function sort, just takes in the array and the size. Pretty straightforward. So let's get to it. So a standard gap size is just the size of your array divided by 1.3, and I make this variable here int um, swapped equals one. Uh, that's just basically like a boolean. There's no booleans in C. So one is true, zero is false. Anything that's not zero is basically true. Um, so I'm going to say, well, we've still made, because in bubble sort, if you know bubble sort, um, we can stop when we've made no swaps, because we know it's sorted. Um, and, 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 uh, but it's a little different here, because if we made no swaps, we still have to check if our gap, sorry for the pause, if the gap is greater than one, because if the gap is greater than one, we still haven't compared everybody next to each other, right? Um, so if the gap is one, or if the gap is not greater than one, and we didn't swap anybody, then we know we're done. So I'm going to automatically set swap to zero. I'm going to set it to one whenever I make a swap. Okay. Um, all right. Then I have if gap is greater than one or less than one, just because we need a positive integer, and you see I'm dividing by a float over here. I'm storing it in a float. Okay, I'm just going to make it one right here. Gap is equal to one. Um, oh, I can get rid of this i gap. I don't need that. But that doesn't need me. I need to uh, replace all the i gaps everywhere. <laughs> um, doo -doo -doo, pretty straightforward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an integer i. He starts at the beginning of the list. And as long as him plus the gap is not over the end, I know I still have people to compare. Um, so I will do that in the for loop. But at the end of every for loop, I'll just add one to him. And so if uh, the nums i, the guy that we're at, is greater than the guy that's above the gap, above him, then I'm just going to switch the two. When I'm done switching everybody, I'm just going to divide the gap by 1.3 again. And um, yeah, that's it. You see over here, by the way, I put swapped is equal to one when I make a swap. So yeah, that's, that's it. That's comb sort. It's really fast. It's, it's good. I mean, not really fast. Really fast to, to code. Um, oh, no, I do need, I need an integer in here. So I do need to put not, um, int i gap is equal to int gap. That's why I put that. Totally forgot. So um, a reason uh, that you still need to do this part, though, gap equals 1 if it's less than, because if I just did int gap and gap was like 0.4, it'll round down and uh, give me 0 as my interval. And if that's the case, I'm just going to be comparing a number to itself, and that won't do me any good. And boom, we see it sorted. Fantastic. I just put in a tiny little array here. Um, yeah, comb sort, really quick, really easy. Um, in fact, people say you should, you know, if you really need something quick and dirty, implement bubble or selection sort, which are terrible. No, if you need something quick and dirty, put in comb sort. This is like half the, half the space here is just like, just random space I don't need. Like if you're one of those people that really just tightens everything up, like look, look at this. This is, this is nothing. Look how, this is tiny. This is absolutely, if you really want to make it tiny, that's nothing. That's a really easy algorithm. There's one loop, well, well two loops, but... No really nested fours inside of each other. Really easy, quick, dirty algorithm. Um, so that's a little extra treat I thought I'd throw in for you guys. Just want to make sure I didn't delete anything. Yeah, okay. Um, so that's it on that. Uh, so hope you learned something. Hope you have a new kind of fallback guy if you need to get something in there real quick. Um, you don't want to implement something like goddamn quicksort and you still want some really good uh, time. So uh, yeah, see you next time.